The Manson MA Evo with X Y Pad, the combination of expert craftsmanship and science fiction. First introduced in the early 2010s, the MA Evo became the new standard guitar from Manson. The Evo series was rerouted and catered for the tech adventurous player wanting to employ MIDI screens, Sustainiac pickups, and the ZVEX fuzz factory. Its popularity became well known in the guitar community, and for good reason. With big names from the industry attached to the Manson brand, these guitars became quite sought after. Along with the numerous signature guitars that Manson has released, the MA series has helped cement the Manson brand as a well-known and high-quality maker of guitars. But that's the brand as a whole, let's get it a little bit more specific. So, the Manson MA Evo with XY pad, is it any good? This guitar specifically is from the 2019 batch of MA Evos, which means it features a PF1 in the bridge and a humbucker Sustainiac in the neck. It features a kill button instead of a kill switch. It doesn't feature a coil split or anything of that nature. Why, you may ask? Well, it's because I'm an idiot and I didn't really think that far ahead. The neck has 22 frets, no inlays, and features an ebony fretboard. Quite a thin profile to allow for a good grip and fast playing, but still comfortable at the same time. What's the first thing that you think about when you look at a Manson guitar? Some might argue that you'll sound exactly like Matt Bellamy, so let's put that to the test. <laughs> What we're seeing here is Matt Bellamy playing various riffs and songs on his Manson guitars, but what can we get from listening to these clips and what elements can we pick out? Does this sound like Matt Bellamy? What if we change guitars? Does this sound like Matt Bellamy or does it sound more like my Chaos Manson? Ultimately only really you can decide because sound is subjective and it changes between each person experiencing it. Yes, we can all agree the guitar is making these sounds, but the characteristics of those sounds are all unique to ourselves. To me, neither of these guitars sound like Matt Bellamy because I don't have almost any of the gear that he uses both in the studio and live. Yes, I have a few things like a whammy pedal, a fuzz factory and phase 90, but there's so much more to it than just those three pedals. Don't believe me? Just look at the list of gear he's used over the years. Let's look beyond the obvious question of does it sound like Matt Bellamy? How does it sound as a guitar? 
From the get-go, it's certainly good news. It sounds very much like a guitar. It'd be kind of a disappointment if it sounded like literally anything else. Honestly, I don't really like how this guitar sounds clean, but that's due to humbuckers and the way that they, you know, make sound. And also a little bit because I don't have a split coil installed on the guitar itself. The sounds the guitar makes when clean are way too chunky and they have no dynamics, and the sounds that I've just demonstrated, I much prefer playing on single coils. To me, it would sound a lot better if I could split coil the pickups on this guitar, but I don't have that. But we do have to assess the guitar and the abilities that it does have. What we've listened to now with that demonstration with the crunch tone to me sounds a lot better. With a lot more crunch, a lot more dirt, it sounds a bigger, fatter, and I really enjoy that sort of tone. The guitars are really starting to come alive now. It's entirely obviously still subjective, but for me, it, this is where the guitar is starting to kind of come in into its own kind of realm, if you will, and it's sounding a lot more interesting.
now that we've just heard the guitar through the MXR Prime Distortion, this is a point where the guitar has really come into its own properly at this point. I really like using this guitar for kind of big riffs with a good amount of distortion on there and pairing it with the MXR Prime Distortion, for me in my rig, is a really good match. The pickup is built really for high-end gain and the pedal delivers that in droves and the guitar really, really works for that. Every time I use this combination, I'm always blown away by it and I do really like to use this guitar specifically for when I want to play music that's really kind of hard hitting and kind of riff dominated. Fuzz tones are an absolute favourite of mine and this guitar does them really, really well. The PF1 pickup to my ear is designed for distortion and fuzz tones. Every time I want to play a song that's got ridiculous amounts of distortion and fuzz and it's riff based, I'm always going for this guitar because every time it's going to knock it out of the park. It's just so brutal. The demonstrations that I've shown you, short them up though they may have been, I hope has demonstrated that it is really well suited for playing those types of sounds. Pickups like this are a lot of fun to play with. It opens up all sorts of possibilities for your playing. You can go crazy for some huge screechy sounds. Or you could use it in a more subdued way for darker, more intimate tones. These pickups are not unique to Manson, the Sustainiac brand is an entity of its own. The advantage with that is that you can actually buy them on their own and install them on any of your guitars. What Manson do is offer the Sustainiac system as an option when purchasing the guitar. If you ask me, it's a great option to go for. Combining it with the XY pad, which we will be moving on to, makes for some interesting possibilities. The trick is to figure out just how to use it. It'll take time and practice to figure out. Without it, it may not go so well and first time players may struggle. I can't play this guitar. 
Now, please don't get me wrong. I mean, absolutely no disrespect, and I'm a fan of Mary Spender. I'm only using this clip as an example of not having a great understanding and familiarity with the sustainer pickup system. And in this case, it's totally fair that Mary didn't have any familiarity with the system at that point, especially none of her guitars had that system. And I believe currently in time of recording, none of her current guitars have either. What it does demonstrate and what my original plan for using the clip was, was to show that taking the time to understand how the pickup system works will enable you to get some great use out of it and to know how to make some really good sounds with it. Often I'm asked, how do you get that sound or how does the XY pad sound? And my response is always something along the lines of, it's just a MIDI controller, it doesn't make sound, it just sends MIDI messages. What it is, is a tool that sends MIDI messages to any MIDI device that you may have in your rig, enabling you to control those parameters and sounds on the fly in a much more user-friendly way. The majority of the time when I'm using my XY pad in my videos, I'm using a controller Korg Chaos Pad 2 and manipulating the synth sounds within there but I've also been known to use it to control the filters within the system itself, as well as my whammy pedal. And particularly on my EP for my own music, I controlled a lot of the plugins and the effects within my door for processing and kind of making the songs sound a lot bigger and more vibrant and so on. The ability to control the, the effects and so on in real time with the screen, a physical device, is really powerful and enabled me to create sounds that I otherwise would not really have been able to do if I simply automated those effects and drew them in myself. There is a wealth of knowledge out there on MIDI screen guitars and I would say further that Matt Bellamy popularized the use of MIDI screens in guitars but since then it's really taken off. As an example you can see here with Paul David's video just on that very thing. So what does this mean and what does the XY pad offer? The way I see it, the XY pad on the guitar does absolutely nothing. It's just an expensive square that changes colour. But pair it with anything in your rig that can read MIDI messages, be it a pedal, a plug-in, a multi-effects unit or anything at all, then it becomes a tool that can redefine how you use those effects. What it really does is just unlock the effects you already have and redefine how you use them to make them fit your style of music potentially a lot better than they previously had. I've used the XY pad on the guitar for more than just triggering synth samples in the Korg Chaos pad. I've used it to control effects for when I'm recording my own music and to control my whammy pedal for example. Each time I've used it, it's completely changed the way I see these effects and how they can be used. Every time I've used it, it's given me a level of expression that I never could have got had I not used it. So in conclusion, the Manson MA Evo with XY pad, part guitar and part MIDI Swiss Army knife. As a guitar, it's good for heavy tones, big riffs and pretty much blowing your face off. Not so much for soft tones and lighter production. When using this guitar, I pretty much only go in one direction for it, which is using it for heavy music. That's great if that's what you go for every time you want to play music, but if you're like me, where you like some variety and some diversity in the music that you make and play and also listen to, this guitar does leave a lot to be desired. The Sustainiac pickup adds a lot of fun to your playing and can add some interesting possibilities to both write and play music. 
but you have to know how to use it. And that only really comes by taking the time to learn how it works and what you can really get out of it. The XY pad that's built into the guitar is a great tool to control the existing MIDI devices that you already have in your rig, be that a whammy pedal, a chaos pad, or a Strymon Big Sky. Whatever you have, this can be used to control those effects in one way or another. Don't expect the XY pad to solve all of your problems, nor should you expect it to make any sounds on its own. And even then, you need to take the time to figure out how to use the pad with your effect in combination with your playing to get the best out of it. So the Manson MA Evo with XY pad, is it any good? Well, I've got one. I've had it for a while now, so you decide if I think it's any good. As for if you think it's any good, only you can decide that, and I hope what I've demonstrated for you in this video has helped you make a decision. As for other demonstrations of the guitar, there are plenty of other people out there who use the guitar for their content. As for me, I will certainly be continuing to use the guitar for content here on this channel, so stay tuned to help you make a more enhanced decision. But until next time, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.